In this video, we look at the relationship of two resistors that are connected in parallel. And by parallel, we mean that they have the same voltage across them, and it, we've uh, specified that as V. So devices are considered in parallel or connected in parallel when they have the same voltage across them. And what we want to do is derive an expression or de derive a relationship for an equivalent circuit, an equivalent resistance, which, when connected to the same source current, I sub S, would produce the same voltage drop across it. In other words, this source here and this source in the equivalent circuit would experience the same voltage and current relationship here as there. To do this, let's start by writing a Kirchhoff's current law equation right here at that node. When we do that, we get that um, if we call this I1 and this current here I2, then we would have, of course, that I sub S is equal to I1 plus I2. Rewriting this with an expression for I1 and I2 in terms of V, the voltage, the parallel voltage, and R1 or R2, we get that the source current then would equal V over R1 plus V over R2. Now, if we factor out that common term of V, we're left with 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And if we form the ratio I sub S over V by dividing both sides by V, we're left with the I sub S divided by V is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now, let's do a similar uh, analysis over here on the equivalent circuit. And here we're going to simply recognize that I sub S, the current flowing through here, is going to equal the voltage divided by that equivalent resistance, where I sub S equals V over REQ. Again, forming that ratio, I sub S over V, we have I sub S over V is equal to 1 over REQ. And now for these to be equivalent then, this sum, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, would equal 1 over R equivalent, or our parallel relationship, 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And it's pretty easy to see that if we had more than two resistors in parallel, it would simply continue to add 1 over R terms for as many resistors as we had in parallel. There's a handy, fairly easy to, to memorize formula for the equivalent resistance when you have two resistors in parallel, just two. This is only true if it's two. So let's start by rewriting this as 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And we want to solve this for REQ. In order to do so, we've got to get the right-hand side over a common denominator so that we can then invert both sides. On this side, we'll have R1 plus R2 over R1 times R2, just getting the common denominator of R1, R2, and putting them both over that common denominator. Now, inverting, we have then R equivalent of two parallel connected resistors is equal to R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. And again, this one is worth memorizing. The equivalent resistance is equal to the product of the two resistors divided by the sum of the two resistors. One final thought about 1 over resistance. Um, sometimes it's convenient to talk in terms of what is known as conductance. Conductance, G, is equal to just 1 over the resistance. So if resistance is a measure of how much the flow of electrons is restricted, 1 over the resistance is known as conductance, and it becomes a measure of how freely the electrons flow through the device. In terms of the conductance, then, we can say if we have N resistors connected in parallel, their conductance, the equivalent conductance, GEQ, will equal G1 plus G2 plus on out to G sub N.